dear Minister Magar, uh, dear Anna Nemet, dear CEO Rolf Schüssler, dear Kam, uh, dear friends from Budapest, dear friends from Korea, dear friends from Poland, dear friends from Europe. It gives me an absolute pleasure to stand here in front of you and open a flight that we have been working on very, very hard for at least a year and a half, maybe even two years. Uh, we have embarked uh, over the last two years on a very interesting journey. Uh, the journey started with us talking to uh, Boot Airport, uh, to the former CEO, Jost Lammers. I need to mention him here because he's a quiet hero of this, uh, of this event. And Kam Jandu, who is here. Uh, I'm hoping that I will work so well as I worked with Jost, uh, uh, with you all. Uh, but I, I have to mention this. And uh, we discussed an idea to actually develop our second hub in Budapest. And uh, we are working very hard. Both sides are working or have worked very hard to achieve this. Uh, and I'm very, very proud to say, for the first time, we are opening a flight from Budapest East to South Korea, uh, where it's much, much, much more difficult and much more complicated. There is no open sky like there is in the United States of America. Uh, that effort had to be joined by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs with real effort, with real work. Uh, and I, I would like to thank, uh, thank to you, Minister Major, but, but thank to the whole ministry, uh, the embassy, the Hungarian embassy in uh, Seoul, uh, and my special thanks to Minister Sciarto, who in the process has become a great friend. Um, and, uh, you know, this is, this is an amazing effort and I'm, and I'm so happy to be here. Uh, it's a very important moment for us, for truly we are starting to build a proper hub in Budapest. Uh, we don't only fly to JFK in Chicago, which we have done for over a year now, uh, we are starting a direct connection to a very important business and cultural destination in Asia. So, uh, for those of you who have not been to Seoul, I would like to say it is a truly beautiful city. Uh, it is a city where I remember my first visit impressed me with you know, beautiful modern architecture, and amazing examples of historical architecture, but also it actually impressed me with the space and the mountains that are visible within the city. It's a true paradise, so I really would like to say to all of you, please visit Seoul, you will experience something totally different. Um, of course, we are starting this journey from Budapest. Uh, Budapest. Budapest and Hungary are especially dear uh, to our hearts. First of all, Budapest is renowned in the whole world as one of the top destinations in Europe and top destinations in the world. Uh, and uh, I recognize it as one, of, uh, as one of my top top two cities. Uh, you are in the top two along with Krakow. Uh, so, which is, the, which is the former Polish capital. But I really love Budapest, and I have to say, uh, you know, this is part of a very important process. Uh, we are starting the flight three times per week at the moment, but I'm hoping that with support of the Hungarian government and of the Polish government and of the Korean government, we will be able to grow the number of frequencies very quickly to at least seven frequencies per week in order to be able to uh, to guarantee good connectivity, not only for the tourists, not only for those who try to do the leisure traffic, but who are actually going to take advantage of this connectivity created by Lot Polish Airlines uh, for business, for business purposes. And the business connectivity needs to be at least six times per week, preferably seven. Right now we're going to start flying on Tuesdays, Fridays and Sundays from Budapest to Incheon and we're going to depart at 12.25, arriving the following day at 6.05. Uh, we are going to 
fly back on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays, uh, departing at 7.35, arriving at 12.20. So it is a very, very comfortable schedule, uh, allowing, allowing people to actually get a full, full day's work, uh, starting from the arrival in Budapest. I think a lot of Korean business people uh, arriving and investing here will, will actually enjoy it. Uh, we have already announced this, but I would like to reiterate that this flight is part of a very uh, complicated process of creating a brand new hub of lot uh, in, in, in Budapest, in Hungary. Uh, and we have, we have said uh, already two years ago that our long-term strategy is to become the, 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 the first choice carrier, network carrier of the entire Central Europe. What we are going to do in Budapest will serve its, this pur purpose precisely and it will enhance the connectivity of the Budapest airport in a very significant way but also, I believe, it will serve and enhance the connectivity and economic importance of Budapest as a city and of Hungary as a very important European country. And uh, I would like to reiterate that on the 30th of March next year, 2020, uh, we are starting flights, direct flights from Budapest to Stuttgart, Prague, Brussels and Bucharest, and they will be uh, 12 times per week, so basically twice daily on all business important days. Um, and we are also starting a daily flight to Belgrade and Sofia. I hope there will be more announcements to come uh, in the future. Uh, this is not our last word, but it's definitely something that will serve the purpose that we want to achieve. Uh, the purpose of having a proper functioning, uh, you know, very well connected, hub here in, uh, in Budapest. Uh, we will have, because of, the, uh, because of this, we will add additional to the, to the current airplane that, is, that, is, uh, 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 that has a home base in Budapest. We fly twice daily to London City Airport. Uh, we will add additional 3195 airplanes and we are working on more, on more, uh, more airplanes to be included in our network. Uh, that means, of course, a significant impact on employment. Uh, we are going to be hiring, uh, and we are in the process of hiring, Hungarian pilot, pilots and Hungarian cabin crew. Uh, and I would like uh, to use the opportunity once again uh, to say, you know, we are a fine airline. We invite uh, all Hungarian people to work with us. In fact, my dream, uh, and I have to admit, Minister, perhaps I'm, I'm overcrossing some boundaries, but uh, whenever I, I, I speak outside of the country, I say, well, we are the Polish flag carrier, but we are becoming a Hungarian flag carrier. It would be a, a great honor for me if, I, if we could truly become a Hungarian flag carrier and, uh, and become uh, a, an airline that is treated by the Hungarian people as their own national airline. That would be the greatest honor uh, for us uh, as, as, as both Polish airlines. Uh, you know the saying, Magyar Lendien Kit Jogorat, Edwit Hortor Istoborat. We know this very well in Polish as well. Uh, we, are, we are two friendly nations. I'm glad that actually uh, a great business con connection, a great business cooperation can also be ha helped uh, by a, a great political connection uh, between your, uh, your Prime Minister uh, and our Prime Minister. Uh, we are very, very opportune in this, uh, but I would like to say, you know, we are here for good business. We are, we are here to connect people, uh, we are here to, to make good business, and we are, we are here to make the Hungarian economy grow faster and the Central European economy to grow faster. And, uh, and I would like to say, it will be our honor that all of you join our flights uh, that you try to fly lot as, as often as possible. Please vote with your ticket choices. Vote uh, lot Polish Airlines. If you if you fly lot, we will fly a lot more from Budapest. Thank you very much. Uh, all the best to you and have a lovely flight to all those flying with us to Seoul.
I can't wait to get in, into Seoul because it's a true paradise. Thank you.